Jennifer Cooper getting a look today at Go Raleigh's new electric buses. Yeah, and we're learning about Go Raleigh's plans to expand its number of electric vehicles over the next few months. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway live in Raleigh, where he followed along with the governor's tour. Hey, Joseph. Hey there. So Governor Cooper did just actually wrap up that tour about 15 to 20 minutes ago right here at the Go Raleigh facility. And this is one of the electric buses that he was able to take a look at. And as you can tell, it doesn't look much different than what you're used to seeing on a normal uh, on a normal bus. But Go Raleigh says it added several of these zero emissions vehicles to the fleet over the past few months. The buses run completely on rechargeable batteries and it's more reliable and less costly to maintain. By the end of this year, transit leaders say that the fleet will be 70% zero or near zero emissions. And Governor Cooper says it's important for other modes of public transportation to follow suit. But I asked him how lawmakers will help the other cities pay for such a transition. We are looking at money from the VW settlement, money from the federal infrastructure plan to make sure we've got these charging stations in place. So we want to help, and we know that this transition is going to be important. And you know, this comes as North Carolina's electric vehicle footprint, footprint is quickly increasing. We told you, of course, about Toyota's uh, plans last month. They announced them last month for a new EV battery factory. That's going to be located just southeast of Greensboro. Live in Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.